There are many things we take for granted. You don't really appreciate the books that you have, the fact that you don't have to worry about stationery when you're doing your exams, the nice classrooms you have, the labs, the library. In fact, some of you wish that they'd stay as far away from them as possible. For the ladies in the audience, have you ever had to miss four to five days of school because you couldn't afford a pack of sanitary pads? For, for school children in Kenya, just like the school children in Wairori Primary School, they do not have these things. This is one of the classrooms. If we think about children, children with these problems, there are very, very many. So it is a big problem, isn't it? It isn't only a problem in Wairuri. It's not just a problem in Kenya. It's not just a problem in Africa. This is global. And should big organizations such as the United Nations, the government, big churches, be the ones to solve these problems? Be the ones to make that significant change? Well, no, we can, you, you and I can do this. And I'm here to tell you that you and I can make that difference. Wairuri had clear problems, and I thought they had clear solutions. I wrote a proposal and juggled many ideas in my head of all the things that we could do. I thought about many things, consulted people, but this is what we did. We had a book drive in, the, in my school. We, had, we asked the mothers and daughters of my, in my school to donate sanitary pads to the women and to the girls at Wairori Primary School. We also had a stationary drive, but unfortunately this didn't work out so well. So, because we thought, I thought that I guess it's inconvenient for, this, for people to go to the shops to purchase the geometrical sets and other stationery. So we brought them to them. And this is how the, the Adopt a Set campaign began. One thing I learned about starting the project is that people are empathetic. People want to help by nature. They want to make a difference. They want to be part of a team that can make that difference. And through this, I wanted to involve many other school students, so I approached the East African Model United Nations. I told them that this is what we've done, and this is what we want to do. For two years now, they supported the project and even raised funds of over $3,500 for the project. This have gone towards buying books, some sports equipment, sanitary pads, and, we'll, and we have ongoing plans to create a library and rehabilitate the nursery school. We, I also approached the President's Award Scheme, and since we were having our, our gold residential project that year, I asked, why don't we have it at Wairuri? And we did. So for five days, we camped at Wairuri Primary School. We cleaned out one of the rooms, painted, fixed the windows, installed a door, and this was the beginning of giving them a library. Another thing that we noticed when we talked to the students, when we talked to the teachers, is the low motivation. Some of the children were wondering why they should work hard when their parents couldn't afford secondary school and everything. And prob so I thought that we gave them talks. We they wanted someone to love them, to appreciate them, to tell they wanted to know that they had friends out of their immediate environment who believed that they would be engineers, writers, doctors. <coughs> Sorry. To all of you listening, I hope that this is not just another theoretical talk, but I hope that this is a calling for all of you to make that difference in your communities. Harun Yaya once said, and I live by this quote, I always wonder why birds have wings and they can fly anywhere else on Earth, but then they choose to stay, to stay in the same place. And then I ask myself the same question. 
For me, my wings were my family, my friends, my school community. And I know that you guys have that too. So my challenge is do something. Create simple solutions for everyday problems in certain communities. Be the one to develop this kind of projects that will help better the lives of other people in need. So I leave you all, and with that note, I leave you all with one question. If each and every one of you in this room picked a community, looked at their problems, came up with even the simplest solutions, developed some projects to take care of, the, to combat these problems, where would we be? Where will the world be? Challenge you all to be a part of changing your world. Thank you.